Assalamu alaikum students. Welcome to Modern Study Pro. In this video, we're solving the full exercise of Chapter 5, Rate of Reaction from the Class 10 Chemistry Book, National Book Foundation. All MCQs, short questions, and long questions are explained in a simple and clear way. Timestamps are given in the description box. Also check out the full exercises of previous chapters. Links are below. Let's get started. 1. Multiple choice questions, MCQs. 1. The rate of a reaction as the reaction proceeds. Correct answer. B. Decreases. Explanation. As the reactants are used up, their concentration decreases, so the frequency of collisions decreases and the rate slows down. 2. The activation energy for a reaction can be. Correct answer. D. None of these. Explanation. Activation energy is a fixed property of a chemical reaction. It does not increase or decrease just by changing temperature or concentration. 3. Reactions with high activation energy are usually. Correct answer. B. Slow. Explanation. High activation energy means particles need more energy to react, so the reaction proceeds slowly. 4. In a reversible reaction, a catalyst lowers the activation energy of the. Correct answer. C forward as well as reverse reaction. Explanation. Catalysts speed up both forward and reverse reactions by lowering the activation energy equally. 5. Which of the following is not a factor affecting the rate of reaction according to collision theory? Correct answer. D. Molar mass of reactants. Explanation. Collision theory considers concentration, temperature, surface area, and catalysts, not molar mass. 6. How does a catalyst increase the rate of reaction? Correct answer. D. By providing an alternate pathway with lower activation energy. Explanation. Catalysts work by lowering the energy barrier, making it easier for reactants to form products. 7. Which physical parameter is not typically affected by the rate of reaction? Correct answer. B. Temperature. Explanation. Temperature is a factor that affects the rate, but is not changed due to the reaction itself. 8. Which factor can affect the rate of reaction involving gases? Correct answer. B. Change in pressure. Explanation. Increasing pressure increases the number of gas particles per volume, causing more collisions. 9. Increasing the surface area of solids generally. Correct answer. B. Increases the rate of reaction. Explanation. More surface area means more particles are available to react, increasing collision frequency. 10. How does temperature affect the rate of reaction according to collision theory? Correct answer. D. Higher temperature increases the frequency of collisions and kinetic energy of particles. Explanation. Heat provides energy, increasing both speed and force of collisions, thus increasing reaction rate. 2. Short questions. I. Draw energy diagrams that represent the activation energy and show the effect of catalyst. Diagram includes x-axis, reaction progress, y-axis, energy, uncatalyzed path, higher peak, catalyzed path, lower peak. Label, activation energy is lower in presence of catalyst. 2. What is the effect of a catalyst on the following? A. The rate of reaction. B. The energy of activation. Answer. A. A catalyst increases the rate of reaction. It does so by providing an alternate pathway for the reaction to take place with a lower activation energy. B. A catalyst decreases the activation energy. It does not take part in the reaction itself, but makes it easier for reactant particles to collide with sufficient energy to react. 3. Why powdered xan reacts faster with acid than a piece of xan? Give reason. Answer. Powdered zinc has a larger surface area than a single solid piece of zinc. When zinc is in powdered form, more particles of zinc are exposed to the acid. This increases the number of collisions between zinc particles and hydrogen ions in the acid. According to collision theory, more frequent effective collisions result in a faster reaction rate. That's why powdered zinc reacts faster with acid. 4. List physical parameters which are affected by reaction rates. Answer. The main physical parameters affected by reaction rates include temperature, 
Higher temperature increases kinetic energy and the rate of reaction. Concentration. Higher concentration of reactants increases the chance of collisions. Surface area. More surface area, e.g., powdered solids, increases the frequency of collisions. Pressure. Especially in gaseous reactions, higher pressure increases the reaction rate. Catalyst. The presence of a catalyst lowers the activation energy and speeds up the reaction. 5. Explain collision theory and its key components. Answer. The collision theory explains that chemical reactions occur when reactant particles collide with enough energy and proper orientation. Key components. Collision. Particles must physically collide to react. Activation energy. Only collisions with energy equal to or greater than the activation energy lead to a reaction. Proper orientation. Reactant molecules must be aligned correctly during the collision. Discuss the effect of changing the concentration of a reactant on the rate of reaction. Answer. Increasing the concentration of a reactant means more particles are present in the same volume. This increases the frequency of collisions between reactant particles. As a result, the number of successful collisions also increases, which leads to a higher reaction rate. If concentration decreases, collisions become less frequent and the reaction slows down. 7. Describe how graphs are used to interpret the rate of reaction. Answer. Graphs are useful tools to visualize and analyze reaction rates. Two common types. Concentration versus time graph. This shows how the concentration of reactants or products changes over time. A steep slope indicates a fast reaction and a flat slope shows the reaction has stopped. Rate versus temperature slash concentration. These graphs show how changes in conditions affect the rate. A rising curve shows increasing rate with increasing temperature or concentration. 8. Why is activation energy important in determining the rate of reaction? Answer. Activation energy is the minimum energy needed for a reaction to occur. If the particles colliding do not have this much energy, they will bounce off each other without reacting. A high activation energy means fewer particles can react, so the reaction is slow. A lower activation energy allows more particles to successfully react, speeding up the reaction. 9. If you increase the temperature of a reaction, how does this affect the kinetic energy of the particles? Answer. When temperature increases, the kinetic energy of the particles also increases. This causes particles to move faster, collide more often, and with greater energy. More particles will now have enough energy to overcome the activation energy barrier, so the rate of reaction increases. X. Why do only a fraction of collisions lead to a reaction according to collision theory? Answer. Only a fraction of collisions lead to a reaction because many particles may not have enough energy less than activation energy. Even if energy is sufficient, the particles must also be aligned correctly, proper orientation. If either of these conditions is not met, the collision will not result in a chemical reaction. 11. Evaluate how increasing activation energy affects the rate of reaction. Answer. Increasing the activation energy makes it harder for particles to react because they need more energy for a successful collision. As a result, Fewer collisions are effective and the rate of reaction decreases. High activation energy slows down the reaction, especially at low temperatures. 12. Suggest a way to identify if a catalyst has been effective in a reaction. Answer. To identify if a catalyst has been effective, compare the rate of reaction with and without the catalyst. If the catalyst is effective, the reaction with it will complete faster. You can measure the time taken for the product to form or reactants to disappear. If the time is significantly less in the presence of a catalyst, it confirms the catalyst's effectiveness. 13. Assess the impact of catalysts on industrial chemical processes. Answer. Catalysts are crucial in industry because they speed up reactions, saving time, and increasing productivity. They reduce the energy required, lowering fuel costs. They allow reactions to occur at lower temperatures and pressures. They are reusable and reduce waste. Examples include the use of iron in the Haber process and vanadium 
V. Oxide in the contact process. 14. Evaluate the impact of adding an enzyme to a biochemical reaction. Answer. Enzymes are biological catalysts. Adding an enzyme to a biochemical reaction greatly increases the rate of reaction. Works under mild conditions, normal body temperature and pH. Is highly specific for particular substrates. Reduces the need for extreme temperature or chemical conditions. 15. Analyze how temperature control during transportation can affect the quality of the product. Answer. Many chemical and biological products are sensitive to temperature changes. If the temperature is too high, reactions may speed up, causing spoilage or decomposition. Enzymes in food may become denatured or overactive. If temperature is too low, some products may freeze or lose quality. Reactions may stop or slow down too much. Therefore, controlling temperature ensures the stability and quality of transported goods like medicines, food, and chemicals. Long questions, detailed answers. 1. Examine the graph depicting A. The concentration of reactants over time. B. The effect of temperature on the rate of reaction. C. The effect of the catalyst on reaction rate. Answer. A. In a graph showing concentration versus time, the concentration of reactants decreases as the reaction proceeds. A steep downward slope shows a fast reaction and a gentle slope shows a slower one. B. When temperature increases, the rate of reaction increases. In the graph, this is shown by a steeper slope at higher temperatures. C. A catalyst increases the rate of reaction without being used up. In the graph, the line representing the reaction with a catalyst drops faster than the line without it, showing that the reaction was completed more quickly. 2. An increase in surface area increases the reaction rate. Evaluate this statement in the light of collision theory. Answer. According to collision theory, for reaction to occur, particles must collide with sufficient energy. Increasing the surface area, e.g., using powdered solids instead of lumps, exposes more particles for collision. This increases the frequency of collisions and therefore the number of successful collisions per second. As a result, the reaction rate increases. So, the statement is true and supported by collision theory. 3. Interpret the role of a catalyst in a chemical reaction. Answer. A catalyst increases the rate of a chemical reaction by providing an alternative pathway with lower activation energy. It does not take part in the reaction itself and remains unchanged after the reaction. More particles now have enough energy to react, so the reaction becomes faster. Catalysts are widely used in industries to save energy and time. 4. Discuss the impact of temperature on the rate of reaction. Answer. Temperature directly affects the kinetic energy of particles. As temperature increases, particles move faster and collide more frequently. More particles have energy equal to or greater than the activation energy. Hence, the number of effective collisions increases and the rate of reaction increases. This is why reactions generally proceed faster at higher temperatures. 5. Justify the role of chemical kinetics in the food industry. Answer. Chemical kinetics helps the food industry by understanding how temperature, enzymes, and preservatives affect the rate of spoilage, designing safe storage and packaging techniques, optimizing cooking and processing times, controlling fermentation and flavor development. Thus, chemical kinetics ensures quality, safety, and efficiency in food production. 6. Propose a hypothesis for how temperature and surface area affect the reaction rate. Design a set of experiments to test your hypothesis, detailing the methods and measurements. Answer. Hypothesis. Increasing temperature and surface area increases the rate of reaction. Experiment design. React hydrochloric acid with magnesium ribbon and powdered magnesium separately at different temperatures. Use a stopwatch and gas syringe to measure hydrogen gas evolved. Keep volume and concentration of acid constant. Compare time taken and gas produced. Method. Add 1 G of magnesium ribbon to 50 milliliters of 1 MHCl at room temperature. 
Measure gas every 10 seconds. Repeat with powdered magnesium. Repeat both steps at 40 degrees Celsius and 60 degrees Celsius. Record and compare results. 7 and 8. You are investigating a new catalyst for a reaction that produces a valuable pharmaceutical product. Explain the role of the catalyst in the reaction mechanism, including its effect on activation energy. Answer. The catalyst provides an alternative reaction mechanism that requires less activation energy. This increases the number of molecules that can react at a given temperature. In pharmaceutical production, this means faster reaction rates. Higher yields in less time, less energy consumption, more efficient processes without affecting the final product. 9. Design an experiment to compare the reaction rates with and without the catalyst. Answer. Choose a reaction like hydrogen peroxide decomposition. Use manganese dioxide as a catalyst. Measure the volume of oxygen gas released over time. Method. Add 10 milliliters of H2O2 to a beaker. No catalyst. Measure gas evolved using a gas syringe. Repeat with 1 G of MnO2 as catalyst. Compare rate by measuring gas volume per minute. X. A chemical reaction between substances A and B follows collision theory. You are tasked with maximizing the reaction rate. Describe how you would modify the number of particles per unit volume, temperature, and activation energy to achieve this goal. Answer. Increase particle concentration. Add more A and B particles to increase collisions. Raise temperature. Higher temperature increases kinetic energy and collision frequency. Lower activation energy. Use a catalyst to allow more particles to react effectively. 11. Compare and contrast the effects of temperature and concentration on the rate of reaction. Answer. Both increase the rate of reaction. Temperature affects the energy of particles. Higher temperature means faster movement. Concentration affects the number of particles in a given space. Higher concentration means more collisions. Temperature influences energy, while concentration influences collision frequency. 12. Discuss the significance of activation energy in chemical reactions and its relationship to reaction rates. Answer. Activation energy determines how easily a reaction can occur. Low activation energy means more particles can react, leading to faster reactions. High activation energy slows down the reaction as fewer particles meet the energy requirement. Reducing activation energy, e.g., with a catalyst, significantly increases the rate of reaction. And that brings us to the end of Chapter 5, Reaction Kinetics from the Class 10 Chemistry Book published by the National Book Foundation, Federal Board. Test tube if you missed the previous chapter, chapter 4, chemical reactions, don't worry. You can watch the complete explanation of that chapter, including all solved exercises, right here on Modern Study Pro. Books inshallah, we're going to complete the entire class 10 chemistry book chapter by chapter with full solutions, explanations. Direct it, so if you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to Modern Study Pro. Like and share with your classmates. And don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you don't miss future videos.